Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here. Welcome to another season of the Wolves Career Mode. We are into Season 8. Here is how the starting 11 looks. Jan Oblak still in goal, although that man, Arthur Charpentier, looks like he's going to overtake Oblak any day now, so he very well could become the starting goalkeeper soon. Kieran Tierney still at left back. Laporte, Lopez Vergara, Alexander Arnold still the back four. We've still got Taliska Neves and Yander Groot, 91 rated. I know he's a right midfielder, but I've been playing him at center mid and he's actually been doing brilliantly for me there. Just having him in the team is so good. And then the front three, still Sane, still Wire, still Mbappe. Although some of these guys, like Leroy Sane for crying out loud, 29 years of age, might be turning 30 later in the season. It, like, they're actually getting on. We are really going to see, I reckon, in the next season or two, some real changes to this uh, starting 11. The substitute, still insane. Sharp end here, Michele and Murillo. We've got Yassine Adley and Gibbs White and Sessegnon and Bradley Price. I've just gone ahead and chucked him on the bench and chucked out Rafael Lejao, who we got last season, because... This Bradley Price fella, you know, every time I play him, he seems to score. So really, if we need to, we can just play him, at, we can play, let's say, like an Mbappe at striker, and Bradley Price can go in at right wing. The reserves are still freakish, full of regen, youth academy talent, but on, on the topic of regens, I am going to show you one or actually several players that I might look to pick up. But just before we do that, I want to really quickly go over all the titles that we are on so far. At the end of Season 7, we were sitting on four Premier League titles, one FA Cup, two Carabao Cups, three Community Shields, two Champions Leagues, and two Super Cups. Last season, it was fairly disappointing. We only really got a Community Shield and a Super Cup, but we'll hopefully do a bit better this season. As you can see, I'm currently in my shortlist. These are all regens. Now, this Tin Magic, or Magic, Ma uh, Magic, oh my god, he is the regen of, you know who, he's a centre midfielder from bloody Croatia. Of course, it's going to be Luka Modric. We have got Nicolas Velasquez. Again, no real prizes for guessing who that is. That is a Luis Suarez regen. We've got John Jaro Gamboa, or Jairo Gamboa. Now, I'm assuming because he's a goalkeeper from Costa Rica, it's got to be Kaylor Navas, but he's in the free agents, as is this man, Hans Azawi. Now, I think this might this man might be Vincent Company's regen, but he's only promising. I don't think he's going to have a super high overall. Everyone else should. But uh, one remedy as well. What, I, I'm not quite sure one of these two uh, men is going to be the Messi regen. Now, I think it's Juan Remedi because he's the one that's the center forward, the right winger, and the striker. But at the same time, I'm really hoping it's this guy because, oh my God, six foot two with five star weak foot, five star skill moves. Whoever it is, I almost don't even care. I'm just inclined to pick them both up at this point because they both look awesome. But I am going to scout those two a little further. We'll advance to the first game, first competitive game of the season against Manchester United. No community shields and no Super Cups to play because we didn't win the Premier League, didn't win the FA Cup, and we didn't do anything in the Champions League or Europa League, so we just move on. And look, since I didn't do it in the last episode, I'm going to actually send my scouts away once again. I'll maybe do it once every two years. We'll actually do a nine-month scouting report. But Neil McGuinness, of course, is going to go to England. Where do we send this man? You know, I'm actually pretty confident I haven't scouted Portugal this entire time. So I might just send him away to Portugal. Why not? And... Where do we stand uh, Gustafsson? Gustafsson? I'm not sure. I recently picked this man up as a slightly better scout to the previous one that we had. And uh, I'm almost genuinely thinking, hey, let's just send him to Sweden. We're two somewhat random, more random countries. But all right, yeah, sure. We're sending the Swedish scout to Sweden. I don't know. At this point, I'm just, I, I don't really know. I think it doesn't really matter where you send him. We'll just see what we get. But we are just about ready to get the Premier League season underway. I think before we play this game against Manchester United, I'm going to go ahead and sign that messy region. Let's just do it. And I did a bit of digging and I figured it out, okay? So this Jonas uh, Leyes, I believe is how you would pronounce it, he is going to be a region of Alejandro Gomez, who is like an 84, 85 something rated player, mid 80s. So even though he's unfortunately not the messy region, it is this man who is uh, Juan Remedi, as you can tell from the fact that he's a center forward, a right winger, and a striker. That is what Messi's uh, given positions were. Then Gomez's were was the left winger, Messi was the right winger. Just because uh, uh, Alejandro Gomez isn't actually, you know, that badly rated, mid-80s, I'm going to go ahead and sign both of them. I wouldn't have got this man if it wasn't for the five-star weak foot, five-star skill moves, and the fact that he's got some height about him, and 
a bit of pace. So does Rometty too. But um, now nah, we're going to get both of these guys if we can. Look, we've got so many midfielders, honestly. I'm genuinely prepared to see if I can just swap deal one. I'm, I'm probably overpaying by doing this, but we've got so many spots on our roster taken that I don't know if I'll even be able to fit these two. That's why I want to try to trade. Well, it turns out they want someone else. They want a fullback. Let's go with Galeano then. I don't know if you'd go for him. Yep, that works. All right, we're swapping some, you know, Youth Academy fullback for the next Messi. I'll take that. And now we move on into the contract negotiations. He wants about 19 grand and 150 something dollar, uh, $165,000 signing bonus. That's fine by me. We'll accept it. And that is that. We have signed Lionel Messi's regen. Get ready. The Premier League is not ready for this man in a few years. I'm also going to go ahead and sign this man Layers in the background and then we'll move on into the game against Manchester United. And look, I don't think we'll play Lionel Messi's regen straight away. It might take even a season or two, but he will get his shot eventually. For now, we'll stick with what we know and get off to a good start, hopefully in the Premier League against Manchester United. We need this since, of course, last season was very disappointing. Just a Community Shield and a UEFA Super Cup. We need to win a league. We need to win an actual cup. The Champions League again, go three-time winners in that. Who knows, but we've got to do better. And we return for the Premier League in our eighth season. We are now past the halfway point in our career. I can't believe we've nearly been doing this career mode now for almost 10 seasons. We're getting to that point. But still a lot of familiar faces in the starting 11. Again, All Black, Alexander Arnold, Lopez Vergara, Laporte, and Kieran Tierney. Yander Groot now, I've just made him a midfielder now. A centre midfielder, done brilliantly for me. The captain, Neves. The demigod Taliska still in the team, Mbappe, Weyer, and Sane. I just wonder when, of course, Taliska's time is going to come up in the starting eleven. He's on the down, he's on the, you know, he's starting to head downward with his overall. So anyway, the back four looks uh, Regani and Mina. I can I can make out anyway. Milinkovic, Savic, Tunzabe, whatever, Lacello, Pulisic, Timo Werner, and Gonzalo Guedes the front three. But come on, we had a pretty disappointing Premier League season. Let's get off to a good start here. Oh, that would have been ridiculous if they'd scored from that. Good save, Old Black. De Groot from outside. Rebound. Sane, yeah. De, De Gea got up quick. Oh, this will work. You fucking... What was that? What is that? Are you kidding me? He did a 360 around the ball. He, what the fuck is that? Oh, my God. You hold down RB to take a finesse shot and he does a spin around the ball. Is that what it takes to get them to shoot with their right foot in that position? That's what I'm telling you when I say shooting in this game is fucked. Or at least that aspect of it anyway. That is unbelievable. Way is going to get a chance at this. Oh, wide. We set up that, that bicycle kick so many times but couldn't get at this one. Not a bad ball that at all. And I can see Mbappe, Mbappe, fuck off you Spanish cunt De Gea, are you kidding me? How do you make that save? We had better have just put it straight to him, which we essentially kind of did. That's not a very good angle. I can't believe it. Finally, finally a gap opened up. It took... Oh, how long? Over an hour. But Yander Groot gets the goal, finally. We brought him in ever since season one, and now he is just flourishing in this team. That is what I needed a lot earlier when we whipped the low cross in to uh, Mbappe. Good finish, tucked away, beyond the outstretched leg of David De Gea. Fuck off, you Spanish twat. You've been way too good. You'd kept your team in it for so long. I'm so happy you've lost your clean sheet. How old would David De Gea be now, eight seasons into the future? Honestly, but retire, man. What the hell? Taliska, I'll be honest, not super happy with his performance today. He's starting to go down with his overall, and I'm starting to think his spot in the starting 11 might be in some real jeopardy. He keeps playing like that, honestly. Are we able to end this game? Somehow, maybe. That is a sensational ball for Sane, who's chested it down. Surrounded. Pogba still got it. The cross is not the right option here. I'm going to keep it on the deck. And low. And hopefully find someone. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. What a way to kill off the game. Timothy Weyer ends it. What a piece of ball movement. He can sue me. I don't care. There's no other way to describe that goal. This little pass in there. And then just the faint 
shot to take it over De Gea and slot it for the game sealer. That is excellent. Come on, lads. We're getting off to a winning start in the Premier League. Let's go for it. Come on. We've got four Premier League titles already. I want five. And that should do it. The last bit of uh, defensive work that surely we have to do in this game. There it is. It's a win on the beginning, on the first day of the Premier League season. A 2-0 win against Manchester United in which we dominated. We had so many shots. Can only manage to squeeze two in though, but we'll take it because it's three points and we are off to the perfect start. Okay then, boys. Good win. We'll advance to the 1st of September, where hopefully at some point too, we'll end up getting our Champions League group. Okay, the group that we've been given, surely we'll get out of this without any problem. We've got RB Leipzig, CSK, and Moscow. Napoli, probably, I reckon, maybe it's a tie, actually. We'll, we'll see. But I, I, I assume it'd be Napoli and Leipzig. One of those two clubs would be our biggest threat. Looks like we found someone maybe worth signing from England as well. It's Dylan Lee with a max overall 73, minimum 74 potential, max 94. The value, 400k. Looks like he's probably going to be a center mid striker or left winger, but I reckon that for the potential and value, I reckon, yeah, we'll, we'll bring him in. I think I might, to be honest, there's not a super amount of blockbuster games in September. I'm going to advance to the 1st of October, play that game against Napoli since... I know Leipzig are okay. They've signed a lot of young players in the part. They signed a lot of young players a few seasons ago, so I reckon their team would be decent, but I want to see what Napoli's about. And yeah, so we'll advance to the 1st of October. And after advancing forward, we now look at the Premier League table. Only seven games in. We are yet to lose a game, but we haven't exactly been putting away teams. We've got four wins, three draws. That sees us third at the moment. At least we're still in the top 10 compared to where we were at a similar point in the season last time out. We also got dumped out in the Carabao Cup after we lost to Newcastle on penalties after we drew 2-2. A couple of changes since we had a few players a little bit tired. We are going to play Kellen Mbappe at striker and put Bradley Price in at right wing. I'm bloody just convinced at this point De Groot was always meant to play centre mid. Even if he does have a bit of pace now and he can probably play at right wing just fine, I'm still keeping him there. Look, he's at a 92. Lopez Vergara, by the way, is also into the 90s. It's it's absolute madness. I've got Michele in in, uh, in place of Laporte since he's a bit tired. And Charpentier is going to go and go for this one just because we want to give him an appearance or two if possible this season as well. So, let's do it. I've also decided I'm going to play Napoli instead of Leipzig because Napoli played Leipzig in the first game of the group and they ended up beating them. So I assume Napoli have probably got a bit of class about them. Now let's take a look at this Napoli team that just went uh, or that just took down uh, RB Leipzig. They've got a few decent players in there, of course. Uh, and I, I'll take a look at the starting 11 real quick. But they've got Edem Militao, I know is good. Carter Vickers, Merritt, who's got a bit of high potential. Uh, they've got Sabitzer, who I signed back in the day. We've got Domenico Berardi at right wing. A couple of good players in there. And again, remembering that we're eight years in, I think a lot of those players, most of them, or a good fair few of them, are younger players with higher potential at the start of career mode. So they'll definitely have reached that potential. And now, I think this is a good side. Amazing control. Look at this. Oh my God. How didn't... You get that shot off in time. Or how did they make that tackle? I'm just trying to figure it out. Seems like Taliska took a fucking eternity to shoot there. We've timed that brilliantly. Oh, tremendous. Oh, Mbappe. Yeah, fuck. I let go of the sprint button, you fucking idiot. Grassi. Diwaras. A tackle coming. There it is. And there you go. Man, oh. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna worry because, goddamn, we. There's no way we won't get at least a couple of chances in the second half. Yep, knew it. Ah, oh, you. We get. They get that space in front of goal. They will always let it go from there, and they will always fucking score. It feels like they always force either an amazing save out the keeper or they smash it in at the near post. After making the interception with Mbappe, the tackle there. Goes right to their fullback, and they play it into the middle. Look, it has to get through two defenders and squeeze in past. Look at that. Oh, just so close to getting blocked, and it's just hit too well. Win that header to Liska, please. What are you in the fucking team for if you've got all that height and you can't even win an aerial battle? You used to win those every fucking day back in the day. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, come on. When do we get it? When? Where? Please. No, not even there. Still going. 
Tried to stop the cross. Sharp in here. That's a fucking interesting attempt at a clearance. Oh, that could be big. Come on. Go quick, boys. We have got so many options. Please, we have to get something here. Something of worth. Mbappe moves it across to his right foot. Still doesn't have the shot. Taliska, can he give it up? Neves. Up the middle. Taliska. Oh, it's been blocked by Carter Vickers. I've chatted so much shit about you, Taliska. You could have done something there, but into the shin of Carter Vickers. Come on. Price. Price! He scores in every game! I can't believe it. I was thinking it was over. Bradley Price, he ties it up. What are Napoli doing? Why are they pushing so many numbers up? We just get a, a free opportunity to score. Bradley Price takes it by blasting it in the corner. Look, it's gone around the back, wheeled around, gone to exactly where the space is, and that strike is right up it's in the up it's upper echelon that is fantastic what a hit well it may only be a point but i'm honestly gonna t i'd honestly take it surely we couldn't win it from here nah nah it's just gonna be a draw we'll take it there was no time really i mean we barely got it out of our own half as soon as we scored when they kicked it off when they kicked it off again so that's that then well it's a point taken right at the death when we dominated the entire first half we should have gotten a, something in the first half but we couldn't they scored immediately in the second and it was just a super frustrating game from that point on. But yet somehow, some way, Bradley Price, every goddamn time, I swear, every time he plays, he scores. He's a little bit like Yassin Adley, but Bradley Price makes them pay. Haven't been doing too much training, but I want to give the two Argentinian center forwards drills. I want to give uh, Hughes a set, my, our Australian center back drills as well, because, you know, in terms of center back youth, uh, talent that's coming through. We don't actually have that many, so I want to train him up a bit. Oscar Hill, the center midfielder, I'm training up his defending because his stats are insane everywhere else. If I train up his defending stats, I reckon he'll be an amazing all-around player. And he's still a promising player at like 22 years of age, so he could go into the starting 11 soon. And Viser is another one that I'll train up as well. So we'll go with these drills for the rest of the season, I reckon. All right, then let's head a little further. Let's go into, I'm thinking, around about December. We'll get a, a, fair, few bit of, a fair few bit of games out of the way. So at this point, we're 14 games in the Premier League season. Still undefeated too, by the way. We have 10 wins, 4 draws. We're now converting these draws into wins now. We had 4 wins and like 3 draws when we last had a look at our last lap after 7 games. And now we're on 10 and 4. Much, much better. 4 points ahead. Southampton, Everton and Spurs at this point. And Stoke City as well, that, you know, uh, for whatever reason, they're still up there as well. West Ham, Liverpool, uh, uh, apart from Spurs, are like the only other team inside the regular top six that are even in, like, the top eight. Meanwhile, down the bottom, you've got Man City in the relegation zone. Manchester United are in, like, 13th as well. And uh, Arsenal, Chelsea, a lot of teams, really, that you'd expect to be doing well. I mean, eight seasons in the future, who knows? But a lot of teams that you'd expect to be up there aren't really doing that well. And our Champions League spot looks to be secure, even though it might seem as though we could end up finishing second in our group, but that's okay. Just as long as we're in the top two. You know, honestly, everything's looking pretty good. I'm just going to advance once ahead again to the 1st of January. We might do a little bit more transfer activity as well. We got two players 18 years of age in the youth squad. One is absolute class, Liam Cooper, 18 years of age, left midfielder, 70 overall with a minimum 86, max 92. He has to go in. But this Dylan Lee fellow that, we, to be fair, we only recently signed, his potential looks to be only in the like low 80s. And honestly, I am being super harsh on criteria whether or not you get in. Honestly, I'm just going to have to let him go because there's only so many spaces. So Liam Cooper comes in and... Dylan Lee, mate, it's a harsh business, but I'm sure you'll have a much more successful career somewhere else. It does look like our Swedish scouts finally uh, found someone decent of his own. We've got Stefan Matson here. Max, oh my God, overall, 71. And uh, the potential is looking good too, but a $1.1 $1 .1 million value, hell yeah. We're signing him up straight away. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to make two big, big signings. And look, I know this John Gyro Gamboa, the goalkeeper from Costa Rica, the um, Navas regen. I could have got him for free, but we already have so many bloody goalkeepers that are about 80 in, in their 20s already. There's no real need for him or for me to have got him. So he's ended up going to Dortmund. I don't, I mean, not Dortmund, sorry, to Borussia Mönchengladbach. You can probably see how I made the mistake, but uh, Azawi was another free agent. He's gone to like Mansfield Town. 
a for, like the guy that's about to become the next Vincent company, but whatever. I want to sign Nicolas Velasquez, the Luis Suarez regen, and the Luka Modric regen. Probably the Modric regen more, but I want to go for both of them since they're both under the age of 23. I won't be able to get them on a pre-contract, but they're both in the last year of their contract. So I feel like I might be able to get them for a bit cheaper. Maybe not by much, but I'm still going to try for both because we've got insane amounts of cash and we haven't really been spending it in the last season or two. I know he's only a rotation player, but I I'm genuinely playing it safe. Look, we've got so much fucking cash already. I'm going to give him one mil signing bonus, 50 grand wage. There's no need for him to get paid that much, but just just cause we're just going to do it. It's, it's only fair. There you go. I had assumed he would have been pretty happy with that, but an 85 rated player probably deserves to be getting paid more than 50k a week. And the other one we're going for, Tin Magic, is this man, I think, very well could find his way into the starting 11 real quick, being only 22 and 86 overall. Because he's an important squad role, or that's what we've given him, I'm going to make it even 100k and another 1 mil signing bonus, doubling his wage, giving him a nice signing bonus, playing it safe, even if he is an important squad role player. Or they want to bring it down to 90k or something, but an appearance bonus. Let's just, uh, we'll accept that. All right, then, done. We'll accept it. I will not. I will allow the, uh, the the agent to get the last offer in this time, but Magic is in. Oh, baby, does this look good. We have got now Yassin Adley, where Anderson Taliska was on the bench. We've got Gibbs White and Magic going in. I, I reckon it's only a matter of time before he soars up to like an 88, 89, and we might even just go ahead and chuck him straight into the starting 11, but he will surely feature at some point. And, of course, the fate of Anderson Taliska, he is now... Just a reserve player, the demigod, just like that. That's what happens. He's dropped by like one or two in his overall, despite having such brilliant skill attributes. He's now 31 years of age. He's slowing down. It's only natural. He's starting to drop. And honestly, his time might be coming. We might actually sell the demigod. I mean, you just look at some of the players that are on the come up when it comes to midfielders. We've got so many like cams and CDMs and center mids. But honestly, his, his time at the club is essentially almost over. But because there's still some sentimental value there, I want to hang on to him. I want to give him one more full season. So we won't sell him in January, but next season we'll probably have to move him on. I reckon also it's time to get another Premier League game in. I remember Spurs were the team that were having a, a bit of a better run out when it came to the regular top six in this Premier League season. But Liverpool, that game's away. And I'd much rather probably play an away game than play a home game and sim an away game. So I'll probably play... Liverpool instead for this one. So with this somewhat new look team, we go out there. I've got Sessegnon in at left back because Tierney's actually injured at the moment. Yasin Adli is now the new starting central midfielder, although for how long we will see. Neves still in, De Groot in. Front three is the same. Back four, apart from Sessegnon, about the same. All Black still in goal. Yeah, this is still a strong side. We should still hopefully be able to get the job done, but we will see, and I promise you, Magic will come on for a debut. I'm very interested to get another look as well at the Premier League table to see how everyone's doing too, because it's been a little while. Anthony Martial, of course, a former Wolves player. We sold him off. Alisson still in goal for Liverpool. Let's look at their whole lineup. Their back four looks interesting. The only two names I can pick out are Koulibaly and Grimaldo. Ruiz, Fabinho, and Keita. Okay, Mo Salah still there. Branderborn, not quite sure exactly who that is as a striker. Even though the name looks familiar, I'm sure he's a regen. And Anthony Martial at left wing. Here we go then. Underway for another game in the Premier League. We want to keep our winning form going because I want that number five. Gap's opening up here, absolutely. Way a little fake shot. We'll pass into there. Adley turning, gets blocked by Kaita. They just had bodies on the line there. Yeah, leaped over that one, you fucking idiot. Oh, dumb shit like that in this game. Constantly fucking pisses me off. Oh my god, that was on target. And Old Black just gets, a sh uh, gets something on it. And thankfully, it only just went wide. Neves picks up a yellow. Oh, it was a 50-50 battle there. And the ball bounced for me brilliantly. But, of course, the half would come to an end. Oh, I'm better. Just Let's just get in the changing room, guys. Let's fucking... Oh, I need to get off the pitch. Because that whole first half was just shocking. And lads, I have made the change already. Magic on the ball. I'm going to call him... I'm just going to call him Magic from now on. I know it's like probably Magic or some shit, but nah. Magic is in the game. I don't care if that's not his correct pronunciation. I want him in the game and I want to see what he can do. Great intercept. Where does it go? Right to Fabinho. Can he make another tackle though? Yes, he can. We're going quick here. 
Oh, Waya. Nah, he's the only person I can pass to. He holds it up just about. Good hard running, though. From that man, Magic. Can he provide an assist for Leroy Sané? Yes, he can! Oh, there we go. He's been on the pitch less than 10 minutes. He gets an assist. Sane scores. The Modric regen with a very nice ball. Simple yet effective into Leroy Sane. Oh, finally. Wow, Leroy Sane's only scored one goal in the Premier League and that was it. Sheesh, finally we've got him rolling. That. I've made a horrendous mistake bringing out my centre back. Going for that tackle. Missed. But I did not expect Kai to fucking go for it from there. And better yet, I didn't expect him to score. What a hit from Nabi Kaita outside the box and the keeper stretching. I oh, did get a hand to it. I thought it was way too close for him. Old Black would have... I expected him to kind of save it. I know it was hit like bloody ridiculously quick, but nah, he did get a hand to it, but couldn't stop it. Magic gets it. Oh no, now Magic has got it. To Mbappe. Oh, it's a good save. Rebound. Alisson again! I should have maybe gone a little further with Mbappe there. I was worried about getting closed down. And you know what else I'm going to do? Timothy Way can come off. We're bringing on Luis Suarez's as regen as well. We've already seen an assist from the Luka Modric regen. Can the Luis Suarez regen Velasquez do something for us as well? Suso, can we make the tackle? Can we? Trying to get in front. Lays it off. Kaita. You know he scored one already. Oh, it's opened up from here. And yeah, they've won it. Oh, God. Fucking disastrous. Awful. This game has gone uh, horrifically. I made one mistake bringing out one centre back to let Kater get in. And I've had too many chances to... Oh, and I'm fucking pissed too, by the way, that they've gotten possession. Because I was holding down LT and RT with Yander Groot. And instead of just leaving it, the cunt ran at the fucking ball, chested it, knocked it out, gave them the ball back. Well, fucking hell. That's not what we wanted. De Groot, we have to just go immediately. Quick. Back in the middle again. Magic. I don't want to go too far back. I've got no choice, though. Into the middle again. Slip him in. Could it? Oh! Oh, we rescued a point! Oh, this is unbelievable! And guess who it is? It's the Suarez region! It's Velasquez! I thought it was done! I thought it was over, but no! Oh my goodness, Magic assist number two and to Velasquez to come on and score the goal that gets us at least a point. Alisson with a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And we scored it with a few uh, seconds over stoppage time, so they won't get an attack. Wow, I thought they won it at the death. Nah, we tied it up at the death, we get a point. I, uh, it looked like we were going to have to settle for a point, but now I'm absolutely bloody thrilled to be walking away with a point. Incredible. Phew. Well, regardless of what happened in that game, we were always keeping our spot on top, but damn am I happy that we were able to get at least something out of that game after the way it ended. Okay, so we're now seven points clear, and we're still- oh, oh my god! That was to keep us undefeated in the league! Oh my god, I didn't even know that! Wow! Are we on for a second invincible season now now that we've kept it alive? Oh my god. Holy shit, I genuinely did not know that. That is awesome now that I know that I've just saved a possible invincible season. Hell. Alright, round of 16 Champions League. We face Dortmund. Other teams in it include Real Madrid, Bayern, Barcelona, Man City are still in there too. We've got Milan who actually won it last season. Atletico Madrid, the team that we just played, Liverpool, PSG, Juventus... And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how deep we can get in this one. You know, I've pretty much done everything that I want to get done in the transfer window. So I reckon I'll just advance ahead to that first leg against Dortmund. We've got a fella here, Sam Rose. Overall's not great. Minimum potential 82 though. That's pretty decent for me. So we'll sign him up. Another English player to go into the youth academy. And I tell you what, Portugal's kind of been... I, I don't know. It's just not producing right now. Olaf Martinsson as well is probably the best... Uh, Swedish, play, uh, Swedish player left after we signed the last bloke that was quite decent, Matson, but his potential is not even max 90, so I, I don't really feel inclined to get him either. But on now to the first round of 16 game. It's an away leg first. Hopefully we can get a couple of away goals. We don't. We just lose outright 1-0. Oh boy. We made it to the semi-finals last season, the final of the season before that, and ended up winning it. If we if we go out any earlier than that, that's, that's not good. That's a backward step. 
We've got to be doing so much better, please. I, I just can't go out in the round of 16, please. Let's just regroup in the second league. Let's advance to it. Yes, we will be going through a few more Premier League games to get there as well. We'll take a look at the table afterward. And oof, look at this. Max overall for Bergstrom here from Sweden. Max 77, minimum potential 79, max 94. He has got a $1.6 million value straight out the gates. Hell yes. That's one of the best plays we've had in a long time. But here we go then, everyone. This is make or break. We could be going out of the round of 16. And because we're down 1-0, I'm literally just going to let this play out and just hope that we end up getting a goal or two and keep a clean sheet. So far, 30 minutes in, nothing's happened. They have scored an away goal. We need three in this second half. And I don't know if we're going to do it. We need it in 30 minutes, now 20 minutes. I think this is it. We get one. But honestly, two and two, two and ten. Two and ten. Are we going to get it? No. It's done. It's finished. Dortmund have dumped us out of the Champions League. Round of 16. Oh, I'm, I'm so used to making it to the final or at least the semis. And No. Nah, it's round of 16. Straight away. Gone. Done. That's horrific. That could be our earliest exit ever in the Champions League. Maybe apart from one season. Like, I think in season two, we... Failed to get out the groups. But this is the second worst that we've... We've never been knocked out the round of 16 before. We're still in the FA Cup, round of 16. We have Arsenal coming up. That's a big one. And our Premier League, we're still on top as well. We're on top and by a, quite a fair margin as well. We have sadly lost a game though. So the Invincible season is over. I need to see who it was that we lost to. Uh, take a look to the right. It was Manchester United 2-1 in January. Only a few games after we managed to pull back that 2-2 draw against Liverpool. And look, Manchester United, let's go all the way down to the bottom of the table. They're 13th for crying out loud. You've got Leeds, West Brom and Brighton in the relegation zone. So the rest of the top six have slowly started moving up. But the regular top six, United are the one that beat us. They've only got nine wins in 28 games. That's annoying. But anyway, we've got a quarterfinal of the FA Cup to get to. I, I'm very confident we've won the Premier League. So I'm probably just going to... Focus on FA Cup action. For okay, but let's get into it. The quarterfinals of the FA Cup, we are away. We're going to let it go this time as well. I know letting it go last time maybe didn't exactly work out too well for us, but it's Timothy Weyer in the 20th minute that puts us in front. I don't think there are replays at the quarterfinal stage. Am I correct about that? I'm pretty confident. Weyer gets a second. This is looking good. We could be on our way to Wembley. Just about 20 or so minutes to get through. Subs are starting to fly in. There's an injury, only five minutes, I reckon that's that. It's going to be a way of brace that gets us through to Wembley Stadium, the semi-finals of the FA Cup. It's the competition that we've won the least so far, only the one FA Cup title in eight seasons. Can we make it two? Oh baby, it's none other than Manchester City and the other semi-final is West Ham versus Liverpool. Our lead in the Premier League has kind of been cut a little bit. We've also lost our second game in it. I'm not exactly sure who against, but once you've lost your first, that's pretty much, you, you, you stop caring really, do, don't you? But we're four points up. Spurs look like they might maybe push at the very last second to go and, you know, put some pressure on getting, and pressure, of course they would, to uh, uh, us getting our title. But 21 wins, 10 draws, two losses. With five games to go, we should be okay. I, I'm not going to guarantee that we'll win it, but we should be okay. For now, let's just sim this semi-final of the FA Cup and hope that we get up. Of course, if we make the final, you know I'm going to play it. You know I'm bringing in a live... Uh, I'm bringing in green screen for that as well. So you can catch my reactions as Leroy Sané scores against his old side. He scored so many against Manchester City for me, but he puts us up 1-0. We've hit the hour mark now, 30 minutes to go. Subs are starting to fly in. Mbappe's come off. Gibbs White's on. Sane gets a second from a penalty. And that is that. We have made it to an FA Cup final. And we could be getting a second FA Cup of this series. Let's bloody go, boys. We've got another date at Wembley Stadium. And another F... We are going to play, thank the Lord, an FA Cup. Or just any Cup final in this season. I'm going to trust in the game that it can get the job done for me. I'm going to sim three games ahead. Manchester City, one of the teams that even they maybe could potentially win the title. I'm going to go only as far as this game, and we'll see where we are three games deep or further into this title race. And after advancing forward a little further, I have noticed that it's pretty much done and dusted now, isn't it? It's, it's done. Spurs 
They could win their next game. They'd only go up as far as 77 points. So even if we lose our next two, it's finished. We have won the Premier League. I thought we would. We've maintained that four-point lead throughout those three games as well. And we've even got a game in hand. It's over. It's done. We have won the Premier League title. And that game against Man City is just to lift up the trophy. As a matter of fact, boom, there it is. I, I don't even know if, if we play that Man City game, if we're going to actually end up lifting the, the trophy or not regardless. But there it is. The Premier League title. That is five Premier League titles in eight seasons. Have we dominated or what? So then, with one or technically two games in the Premier League left to go, we're going to play this game against Man City with, I reckon, because we have the FA Cup only a few days later, a, a completely rotated team. As you can see, only a two-day break. I, I can't really risk playing any starting limb players for this game at all. Maybe the only starting limb player I'll put on the bench is like Neves, sub him on at the last second so he can lift up the trophy. That's the only reason we're playing this game against Man City. Let's just go out there, hopefully win the game. Even if we lose it, it doesn't matter. The title's won. We're lifting up the trophy at the end of this game. Let's do this then, everybody. Again, a reminder of the table if you need it. It doesn't matter if Spurs win their next game and we bottle the next. We're already four points clear. And those Premier League standard badges, they'll be turned gold once again very soon. I can't wait. It's incredible to think that this team is my second string team and it's this strong. Come on, boys. Let's finish this season off with a win. Oh, he'll get back to him. And he will score on the rebound. Rafael Lajau in a frustrating first half gives us the lead. Oh, God. we I reckon we're good for the lead, even though it's been it's not been clean. It has not been a very crisp first half, but at least we've hit the front. What a fucking troll. It's a, it's a dumb slide tackle, but I never would have done that dumb slide tackle if that pass wasn't so fucking shit. So now Patrick Cassidy has gotten a red. Get there, 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 play back. You fucking... You... Oh. You fucking asshole, you better, we better not concede because there's a fuck you Magellan! I try to get him to pass it back to Charpentier, he falls on his ass, doesn't make contact with the ball, and again, the momentum of the player that you switch to at the back seat, the momentum carries him forward and you never get back in time. That is fucked Magellan, you fucking asshole. It's gotta be, and it is! LaShelle's got two! Come on, lead restored. There we go, boys. Come on. I, we're down to 10. Not playing well in the second. But they're still really pushing. I think Man City would just... Every time I'm on the ball, they'd just throw numbers at me. Put the pressure on. And that it, it, there's gaps up the back for sure that we can expose. And we've been able to do it here. But let's see. Can we end it? Ice this thing, baby. Do it. He's just come on the pitch! Laporte! Wide of the mark. We do not have a lot of coverage in the middle here. Please, I was hoping he wouldn't. I was hoping he wouldn't. Laporte, the clearance, cannons off the defender. Why are you hearing? No, in the fucking. Uh, no, no, they shouldn't have this ball. I didn't want to clear that. I think in the spamming of B, he ended up just doing an extra clearance. And there's the shot gone wide. Thank the Lord. There's the cross in, cleared away. Big claw, big cross as well. And that will do it. Even though the result tonight did not matter. Three points in the bag another three points to just chuck on what is already a premier league winning total 2-1 victory even when we lost a player patrick cassidy does he ever every game he has played for wolves he has been sent off in i promise you that he may have played like a third i may have played with him like a third time that i can't remember but every time i have played him i swear he's been sent off straight red against and i think it was also against man city oh my god but nah there it is it's not one, not two, not three, not four, but five Premier League titles in this career mode season. Five-time Premier League winners. Unbelievable. Wolverhampton Wanderers, once again champions of England. And the best part about it all with that game, we didn't have to play any of the starting 11 plays except for maybe Laporte or one or two others that came on for just a brief second, including Neves, but that's it. All right, now we focus on the FA Cup. We fell really short in the Champions League, getting knocked out in the round of 16, but I have not won the FA Cup in so long. Let's get it. I'm going to play my main starting 11. They're all fit, ready to go. And I'm also going to have 
Minor changes on the bench. I mean, Sessegnon, Velasquez, Magic is still there. And he's going to be the first sentiment on. But I'm going to see if at some point I can bring on Anderson Taliska. It would be nice to give him a little bit of a nod. But like you see, his pace is seriously going down. All his mental and physical now that he's like 32, 33. Even though the skill and technical attributes are all still there and so green and so beautiful. 32 years of age. It was always going to happen eventually. He's down to an 86, which is still an amazing rating. But just in this team, it's, it's, um, it's yeah, there are too many great players coming through. And his time here is really done. This is his last ever game for us. Going for our second, only our second ever FA Cup. Can we do it against Liverpool to end the eighth season of the career mode? Here we are then back at Wembley Stadium and playing for that beauty right there. But Liverpool's team, they have got De Vrij still in there, Grimaldo, Fabinho, Grujic, Nabi Keita, Suso, Solonki and Martial up top. Interesting. Arojo and Caldara, I'm not quite sure about. They may be regents, who knows. But that is the Liverpool side that we face and we are underway in the FA Cup final. Come on. Oh, please. This could... Oh, it could have been. Oh, it might still. Oh, saved by Alisson, you absolute bastard. Ball over the top, not bad. And the header, wide of the mark. That, I think, if it just got the other side of the post, would have dipped in there. Oh, Yassine Adley had the chance. Ah, oh, big deflection, and it's gone in. Big voice crack, but we were on top for the first 10 minutes. Who else but Mbappe? Well, I mean, regardless, it's been given to Mbappe as a goal for him. So there you go. Oh, cheeky. I just dropped his defender there. And then I tried to pass into the middle. I keep trying to be unselfish. And oh my god, that's a horrible turnover. Sane. Fake shot. Taken out in the box. Referee, no penalty, he says. Shoot. Deflected. How is that not a fucking penalty? There's contact in the box. He didn't get the ball. Apparently no foul. We will see. And no, we won't apparently. We get a replay of Adley's attempt that ended up hitting Fabinho as he was getting up. Sane. Oh, yes, Mbappe. Oh, yes, yeah, straighten up. Tough angle, but he'll make it work! Two! Took a touch away from goal there. Made the angle even worse for himself. But in the end, it helped him get away from the defender to get off a clean shot, and that made all the difference. Oh, man, I, I desperately wanted to get a second in this half. We've been so on top. We needed to get breathing space in it. Otherwise, I don't know how the second half would have gone. But we've been able to do it, and that's that. Half time, 2-0. Exactly what we needed. I mean, I genuinely, we were so dominant and so on top in that game, we could have probably even been up by three. But I'll take a two-goal lead. Lopez Vigara with a good header away. And uh, Way is in an offside position getting back. That's how strong a header it was. But here it is. Adley's coming off. A lot of my sentiments have just been trash. Adley has not been great in this final. Taliska comes on for his farewell. Taliska's on the ball. Sane going to slip him in, yes. Anyone at that back stick? No one's open. Little pass across here. And Wayne puts it in. 3-0. And we are surely on our way to being FA Cup champions. Get in. And now I think we can safely say it would take something absolutely special or horrific to screw this up. I don't think we're going to get this ball back. Liverpool are just trying to make sure that they don't concede a Anderson Taliska goal to end this FA Cup. But it's cleared. Again, straight to Fabinho. We're trying to stay in the way. They slip him in. Oh, like big save. Clear it, please. Oh, my God. He's missed from there. Ha-ha. <laughs> just sums up Liverpool's FA Cup final. That they would blow an open goal like that at the end. But there we go. FA Cup champions for the second time in this career mode. And that is exactly how we wanted to finish Season 8. And it was a masterclass. We dominated Liverpool from start to finish. They didn't have any chances at all, really, in the game, Liverpool, except for that one right at the end. I, I genuinely can't remember too many times I was under that much threat. Deserved winners. Only our second FA Cup. But we'll lift it up high to end the season. Mbappe again, brilliant. Just everyone in the team. The centre midfielders weren't too great, but we'll forget about that. We are FA Cup champions. Only the second time in this entire career mode, but it is done. We have got the trophy. We also wave goodbye to Anderson Taliska. His last ever game, he wins the FA Cup. That's pretty fitting. Farewell, my son. Well, let's end this, everyone. We'll look at the stats. Top goal scorers. We've got plenty of goal scorers, actually, up into double digits. Not many last season, but... Wire Sessegnon with 15. 
Uh, Morgan Price, not even Bradley Price, Morgan Price, 14 goals, 12 in the Premier League in 14 appearances. My Lord, he's only 75 rated. Uh, wow. Mbappe only had 13. That's a shock, so he's dropping off a bit. Uh, Gibbs, White, and Sane, and then the rest, 7, 6, 4, even Lopez Vigara popped up with three. The top assisters shared between Leroy Sane and Tangai and Dombele, who I haven't really even given that much game time to, and I'm, he's not in my starting eleven. He's not even on the bench. We've got too many incredible centimeters coming through, so even he might potentially go on, but he's one of our top assisters. Sessegnon, looks like he might potentially be our player of the season, Ryan Sessegnon. Mbappe, Gibbs White, Adley with four, as well as a few others. So let's get dropped by another overall. He is going, I'm going to sell him either this season, like next season. He's he's going to go. The time has come. Very sad, but we must wave goodbye. He's a hero of this career mode, and I'll never forget him, Anderson Taliska. I might even look to get him another day one day. I don't know, in another career mode. But top growers include Viser, Van de Velle, Collins, Reyes, or Layers and Rometty, the... Uh, the two, I like to think they're two Messi regens are that good, but no. Rometty's the Messi regen, Leia's the, uh, the Gomez regen, Hughes, White, Carter, Faure, and a bunch of others. We've just got so much talent coming through. We finished with 84 points, Spurs, Everton, Man City, the top four, Liverpool in fifth, Southampton, Chelsea, Leicester City, Manchester United have fallen a long way down, as have Arsenal, and the teams that got relegated, Newcastle survive on goal difference, thank the Lord, but Leeds go down, Brighton and West Brom. We of course won the FA Cup 3-0 against Liverpool, the winners of the Carabao Cup ended up being Spurs, Liverpool lost two cup finals, that is brutal. Real Madrid won the Champions League, beating the team that knocked us out, Dortmund, 3-1 in the final. And Arsenal beat Manchester United in an All-England Europa Cup or Europa League final. And so after all that, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we sit when it comes to titles. We have currently got five Premier League titles, two FA Cups now, two Carabao Cups, three Community Shields, two Champions Leagues, and two UEFA Super Cups. So that is is that. It's a pretty impressive, I'm very happy with that crazy amount of silverware in just eight years or so, but we keep going. And look, I know that there are a lot of you that really, really want me to start the Road to Glory or the new career mode. I'm thinking I'm going to meet you halfway. As awesome as it would be to go 15 uh, all the way to the end of career mode with this thing, it'd be sweet. I think I'm just going to cut this off at 10. I'm going to make two more episodes. The 10th season is the final season. I've never gone 10 seasons deep in a career mode. That should be more than enough. We'll leave it at the 10th. So there's the penultimate episode to come to, or maybe tomorrow, either in the next couple of days, and then the final episode. Only two more left to go, and then we will begin the new career mode. But until then, my name is The Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.